Hello, I'm Clinton Lexa, otherwise known as Half Coordinated, and uh, I play video games one-handed with my left hand due to a physical disability with my right side uh, called hemoparesis that lowers uh, feeling and coordination uh, on that entire side. Um, and that's how um, I do play video games one-handed uh, for all of my speedruns that I've done for Games Done Quick. Uh, I've played several different genres, you know, platformers, shooters, uh, character action games, what have you. Um, so one of the harder parts of learning to do that was that there was no tutorial 20 years ago um, and realized I could just make a short tutorial. Uh, so here we are. And uh, let's just get right into it. So here we have the controller. First things first, I'm going to take where I'm marking with my thumb here on my hand. I'm going to put that on the left control stick. You'll notice there is a little grip pad I have on that. Uh, that does help, but it's not required. And from there, my thumb uh, moves the right control stick with sort of the middle of it most of the time. And uh, the end uh, will press the uh, actual face buttons. My fingers then, uh, most of my fingers are dedicated to the bumpers and triggers up top. Uh, so the pinky and the ring, middle, and uh, pointer fingers. Those uh, kind of all press those. It does shift around a little bit. If I do need to press the D-pad, I do have to kind of quickly shift my grip over uh, in order to press that. So uh, if it's a game that does require heavy D-pad usage, uh, that's usually not ideal uh, for me. Um, now, I do normally brace the controller in my lap with my right hand, but that's absolutely not required. And if you check my games done quick runs, I am usually not uh, bracing the controller in any way. It's just sitting in my lap and it does, it's pretty stable that way. Uh, you could potentially set it on sort of a grip pad on a table in front of you. Um, or some other way of bracing if you do need additional bracing, but it does stay pretty stable like this. Now, another thing to note uh, is this is not a standard Xbox One controller. This is a Razer uh, Wolverine Ultimate. Um, these are fairly expensive, uh, so if you're not sure that it would be the right uh, helpful for you, uh, you know, don't go out and buy it right away. Um, test with a regular Xbox One controller or Xbox 360 or Switch Pro controller, anything that sort of has this layout. Uh, avoid PS4 and PS5. The touchpad will not help you with this grip. It will be a m massive hindrance. Um, but this controller does have a few nice features that do help me quite a lot. Um, it does have these two extra buttons up here. Um, these you can set as any other button on the controller, um, including D-pad and stick clicks. And that uh, definitely helps me a lot if there's an input that you're having difficulty with reaching uh, quickly. You know, that's a big ha ha handy feature and kind of prevents you from having to shift your grip a lot. Uh, so that's nice. It does have triggers on the back as well, but I can't reach those. Uh, so I do have those set as nothing. Um, it does also have a hair trigger setting, so I do not have to press the triggers in as far, which does make those easier to reach. It is important or good to note, um, if you have a smaller hand, uh, or your fingers aren't very long, uh, this grip is going to be more difficult for you and less fruitful. Um, so, uh, do keep that in mind, uh, don't let yourself get frustrated. If this doesn't work for you, something else out there likely will. Um, but yeah, uh, hopefully this does help someone, uh, and, uh, thank you for watching.